Hello YouTube friends and welcome. In this video I have for you another PSA. So uh, I would like to share with you uh, this knife. Uh, it did came uh, to my attention by my uh, one of my good friends uh, that uh, shared this information uh, with me and uh, uh, yes I I bought one to let's say experience it and also uh, make a video for you so let's start uh, this is a Benchmade full-size uh, clone uh, like you can see it comes in the newest style hard uh, cardboard or paper box not like the previous one uh, the small which come uh, in that uh, standard old style drawer style box so the quality of the box is on par with the real one uh, inside you have two these axis uh, papers and foam and just general information from the CEO Okay, so I did review the the standard Craftilian here on my channel a long time ago. Uh, in my opinion, it is a great platform, a great design. But I must say, the standard Craftilian, which one you can buy for around one hundred and ten dollars uh, in plastic, is not that impressive. As you can hear, it's hollow, so. Uh, it is lightweight, but it has just, I don't want to sound negative, but a cheap uh, feel to it, very cheap uh, because of the uh, reinforced nylon plastic, of course. And this one is the, the version with the spider co hole, which I prefer. And uh, what I would like to compare it with is this one. So, uh, I did order one uh, with the hole, but the seller, yeah, Chinese people, uh, or Chinese sellers, sorry about that, uh, did send me the wrong one. I did uh, write back to them, they say they will refund me a portion of the price, but uh, since then most of the week passed and no refund, so I have to uh, write them again. But anyway, uh, let's talk about this one. So in my opinion, this is a uh, home run or should be a home run for Benchmade if they produce one because you can see it has micarta, those brown, brown micarta scales with a beautiful uh, neon uh, green uh, color pivot color so right from the start uh, you can even buy this one even if you would like to buy the real thing you 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 can't uh, you can do only one thing buy for 110 or used a full size and then uh, buy a uh, from a third party seller custom um, uh, micarta scales which will cost in for around uh, 80 to, to 100 dollar so you are getting uh, price wise you have to invest more than 200 dollars if you want to get uh, uh, this exactly uh, this exact version also uh, you have to then buy your deep carry pocket clip which this one came standard and yeah uh, so but uh, let's talk about uh, uh, the similar similar knife that you can right now buy uh, from Benchmade, and that would be the the G10 version of this knife. So that one comes with a nice G10 uh, full G10 scales, of course milled out uh, to accommodate the lock assembly. 
and that will cost you around uh, 190 dollars so yeah you are uh, you are coming close to 200 and still don't have uh, my card so let's compare the sizes okay so uh, size wise this is uh, 20 point three centimeters or eight inches and uh, original one is 20 point three or eight inches so they are they are the same uh, the way the thickness is the, probably uh, not important uh, let's just check the blade stock and the blade stock is and see here uh, so this uh, three millimeters on the clone three millimeters so they are exactly the same okay the action uh, the action on the on the clone is really nice centering is uh, perfectly centered open smooth the action on the on my is a little bit grimy maybe some uh, some dust got in uh, but the centering anyways is perfect so there is no problem there you still can adjust the pivot but i have screwed it down to have no blade play this had a little bit blade play if it was loose this one has just a tiny bit i have to be honest here but uh, maybe it depends on the loosening and tightening the pivot. The clone has, uh, like the original one, still inserted uh, uh, so log assembly and anodized or colored uh, standoffs. The original one, of course, is uh, plastic. The Markarta feels really nice. Uh, I like your standard quality my carta so i will try feature more uh, my carta scaled uh, knives here on my channel so stay tuned in 2020 and yes uh, this knife came out uh, at the end of 2019 around uh, september uh, sorry in december There is only a Benchmade logo on the clip. Uh, the real one has uh, the standard Benchmade uh, black, uh, probably some kind of Teflon uh, black paint because you can see it will rub off. But yes, uh, this really came out uh, left field or how should I say I was not expecting it and thanks to my friend to uh, to pointing out to me and yes um, I really don't uh, don't uh, advertise or don't want to encourage people to buy uh, clones but let's face it, uh, if you really, really like my Carta and I want a complete package, so probably this is the, the only uh, reasonable, reasonable way how to, how to get one. I still hope that uh, Benchmade will, uh, will produce a, a my Carta uh, Griptilian. Uh, they should produce it uh, for, uh, for a long time, but uh, for some reason they didn't. They have other knives uh, they are using my carta and uh, yes probably uh, some of you will uh, will ask the question if I can uh, take down the scales and put the the real assembly and uh, the real blade also the, the original blade into it uh, I don't know I have not experimented with the with this knife so far probably in the future I will I will try to take it apart just uh, I had uh, 
should I say, it is not uh, not easy to take down a axis lock uh, a griptilian. So yeah, maybe in the future I will try to uh, to do this swap, and then I will uh, maybe edit this video or uh, put in the comment down below that if it is possible or not, and maybe some other YouTubers uh, will will uh, make a video. Uh, sooner but yes and even if you just want uh, just want to try it out for the for the scale so yeah uh, I will not uh, advertise any pricing but these are dirt cheap um, probably the blade uh, is maybe something like uh, 8CR 13MOV this is not uh, CPM 20CV if I'm not mistaken, the the G10 uh, the G10 version has the 20 CV. Uh, let me check. So yes. Sorry about that. So the the G10 version has uh, the 20 20 CV blade on it. Okay, so yes, starting uh, 2020, some uh, really interesting offerings are coming out of China. Uh, yes, we know that by by now that they can produce beautiful, innovative, uh, new design, new blades. But this one is uh, really interesting in my opinion. So if you if you want to check it out, then uh, you can find them uh, on on those uh, uh, Chinese sites like Aliexpress probably maybe also by now on eBay but yeah if you like go uh, check them out the action like I mentioned is flawless so no problem there lockup is good the blade who knows uh, how much it will stay sharp but even if this is uh, something like uh, 440C or or HCR 13 MOE, you will have no problems to sharpen it. Uh, let me check out the, the sharpness. So right out of the box, nothing was done to this knife, so it is, yeah. it is really nice and sharp. rides on your standard uh, bronze phosphor bronze bushings a washers sorry okay here is the configuration of the axis lock as you can see the the real one engages uh, almost at the a left side of the lock the clone has it in the middle and also in close position they are almost the same so more into the middle size comparisons if you like to see them so uh, here is your standard uh, small grip a delica 4 uh, bug vantage pro and uh, spider coin dura
Okay, so yeah, there is really nothing uh, more that I could uh, share with you right now. It is totally, totally up to you. If you like to uh, to check them out, and then uh, go and search for them. In my opinion, I really like the, the my cart, so therefore uh, I bought one and. Yeah. Overall execution is really really nice. It has these markings on. Uh, let me zoom in. So yes, nice stone washed blade with. Uh, let's compare. So yes, they are getting really good. You know, I would say the 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 Chinese clone has a much crisp uh, logo than the real one. As you can see there. Yeah, but definitely. There are uh, differences, like for especially the R, so trademark or, or there, original mark. And on the real one, I don't know if this little point circle here is the, should be the original marking or not, but on the clone is visible. And larger I'll check out the pattern numbers so <laughs> here on the on the clone only have a reference 41.259 I don't know what is that but the real one is pattern number 6574 eight six nine something like that so i know if they just put a random number there because uh the pattern number should be in the for the exit lock if i'm not mistaken okay so anyway uh let's uh close down this video so thank you very much for your time for watching if you are a subscriber uh thumbs up to you if you are not a subscriber please consider subscribing I try to 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 release uh, at most uh, mostly if I'm uh, able at least three videos uh, per week. Sometimes I'm able, sometimes I'm not, and mostly knives and gear oriented stuff. But also uh, some hobby Warhammer unboxings, books, uh, miniatures, and painting stuff. So thanks for watching. I wish you a nice day. See you soon. Bye.